Hey folks, it's Brian here, and it's another day to work on the Jeep. Woohoo! So, today I'm gonna work on the track bar. When this vehicle was in its accident, it bent the track bar, and I'd asked the frame shop to go ahead and deal with that for me, but they had forgotten it was in there, and they were in a hurry to get it back to me after 10 months. So they gave it back to me and I said, hell with it, I can replace that myself. Um, I'm also going to start to prep the uh, coil tower or the coil hat and the shock tower for uh, a little bit of welding and uh, that needs to go on in there. Not really a big deal, but first we're gonna work on installing this. I bought a Rough Country um, adjustable track rod kit and this is what I'm going to replace the stock damaged track bar with. And uh, I'll show you what's going on with this track bar here. So this is just bent and I just don't trust it because, you know, it's it was bent pretty bad. So I'm going to take this out. A bolt here and a bolt there. So we'll start down here. How that's gonna work um, so we'll start down there let's see what we got going on boy it sure looks like they had this out of here <laughs> that's so funny They tried to straighten it out. So um, let me get something for this that feels like it's going to be about 15 millimeters. It is. All right, let me find my... This one's going to be a little more complicated. Let's just uh, do a test fit here. So that is a 17 millimeter nut. Everything else seems to be metric on this Jeep. So three quarter inch wrench will do it. Yeah, they heated it up and tried to bend it. Um, you know, I'm not going to say they did an entirely horrible job, but I don't like bent components. And 
yeah, they didn't get it quite right. Standard disclaimer, um, only for installation by professional mechanics. That's why they sell it on Amazon, because there's so many professional mechanics shopping there. And uh, if you don't follow the vehicle manufacturer's instructions, horrible things will happen, blah, 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 blah. We're not responsible for anything. And if you spill your McDonald's milkshake and can't find another one, that's not our problem. Position this so you guys can see what I'm doing. So it does come with measurements. So this should be 31.45 inches. giving me fucking metric measurements. All right, that's a little wider. Uh, I actually think it's gonna need to be a little tighter. So we'll start there. So put this over there. Actually, let's see how these compare. Yeah, they had it quite a bit wider, which means it's probably going to be a pain in the ass. Let me see something on my tracking.
I thought I had somewhere where it told me what size lift was installed, but not so much. All right, well. Oops, that was the good one I was beating up. That's interesting, there's an extra set of holes here. for the part that's probably going to be a giant pain in the ass.
And you know what? Do it that way. I'm going to do it the way I probably shouldn't.
better leverage. I don't need a whole lot of leverage, so I think I got something. These are the same size. They are.
pain in the ass. All right, so I went and did some checking because, man, this is just not wanting to fit. It's the same size, so let me go get a flashlight. I'll be right back. Boy, it sure doesn't look, uh, it looks like it's been, um, elongated. All right, well, let's see where we get with it. All right, so it needs to be longer. Okay, so I think we're within spitting distance here, but it needs to be pushed over just a little bit more, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Hey, there we are. Now we're going to tap it with a fucking hammer. God, I hope that thing doesn't have to come out. Because that was a bona fide pain in the ass.
I'm going to exhaust my patience because I don't have a whole lot. It was working though. All right, so we got that lined up. This is not the right pair of pliers, but it'll probably work. There we go. So one more thing, let's let's uh, tighten this. I am not torquing these because I am certain this 
this needs to be adjusted. So, the only thing that's really left is the zert on the bottom. I'm not real hot about putting this in because it's going to need to come right the hell back out. I'm not even going to grease it right now because um, I am going to thread this in though so I don't lose it. I really would prefer an adjustable tie rod end, so I'm going to look for one of those to replace that with, because I think that would radically simplify um, the work that needs to be done here, um, especially considering that the another piece of something that I was looking for. Uh, but especially considering that the Jeep, I, I know the Jeep is going to have alignment issues. Uh, let me stop. Surprise, none of the steering shit got damaged. So the next thing to do, we're just going to set this off to the side, it's been, I swear this looks like it's a rough country bar that was bent, I'm sure the hell does. Alright, so this is broke right here. This is not supposed to be separated, and I'm not going to be able to get this back in spot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to patch this with a weld on the inside and a weld on the outside. And I don't know, this is going to have to come out in order to facilitate that. So that's what I'm going to work on next.
scale. Damn it. Unfortunately, these aren't very tight. That suggests this was taken off. really All right. <laughs> different different socket required
That's a 15. Yeah, I think these are shot. I think... I think the recovery should be better than this. Well, let's set this to the side. All right, so now I have access to do some welding over here. beat on it. force to be applied. So 
So we managed to mostly close this gap to the point where it can actually just be welded. I mean, it'd be better if this was straightened out, but I don't really have a way to get in there. At least not a nice way. But you know what? I mean, again, this really needs to be straightened out, but I don't I don't have a tool that can get in here and crimp this, but now I could get in here and weld this um, for what little bit it's gonna provide. Yeah, that's very weldable at this point. There's not a whole lot of purchase for welding, but let's see if I can get in here with vice grips. Misuse of tools. Isn't that a fundamental American thing? By the way, that's a steak setter.
Well, it's a whole lot less bent than it was five minutes ago. Not really the way I would have wished that would go. But that's a lot better than it was when I started. So this is a problem area right there. At a minimum, I may weld an indicator bracket on there so I can tell if this thing is moving or not. That is a spot that might call for reinforcement. Played on this side of it from like here to here.
All right. Well, I think that's it for today. Um, I've accomplished what I set out to accomplish over here. I need to do some welding. I'm not in the mood to mess with it today. That might be a tomorrow project. Break out the welder and do the welding on this. Um, and then it definitely needs some corrosion protection in this whole area. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to stop and put away tools and compile um, footage. And uh, be sure to check out the rest of the playlist if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, perhaps it provides some entertainment value for you. Perhaps you actually are learning something. Either way, thanks for watching. I appreciate you.